video number three oracle 19c installation on linux centos this is cent os 8.2 i'm going to log in as oracle user There I am. I'm going to clear this screen. And uh, I'm already at Oracle Home. And I can see the content. And let me run the installer. It's grumbling about uh, the display. Let's see if he can come over that. So we got our supported OS check error again. I'm going to correct it. Let's run it again. Enter here. And then we run our installer. We are going to create and configure a single instance database this time. At this page here, I'm going to select the server class. And then I press next. I'm going to select the enterprise edition to be able to control stuff because I'm going to install a lot of users. I accepted the default here. I accept the second default also. I select general purpose transaction processing. This is a starter database. And I uh, keep this Oracle Seed information, a pluggable database name, RCLPDB. Now we have control here. So let's see here if we enable automatic uh, memory management and see what we are going to get. And uh, we have to install the simple schema databases. Okay, so we cancel the automatic memory management here. Well, if we just an arbitrary value the file system we do not have the enterprise manager installed cloud control so we cannot uh, do that one here enable recovery enable or disable recovery for your database if you choose to enable recovery then the location specified will be used as recovery storage so let's do that and uh, we can use the same account here for these so sys system and pd admin let's leave them as they are and uh, we continue
so we leave these ones as they are we keep our user root uh, credential all checks have passed we had issue with our swap file we had to play with the swap file a little bit but uh, that is done and now we see if we can install it It will take a time, I'm going to pause this. We are still installing, we are at 63% now. Now we have hit the 80%, still going. Now uh, we have the message that uh, our configuration was successful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the address and uh, paste it somewhere. But I can find it again. So this only was a little short. Now we have our database in, and we should now start looking at the additional stuff. But the main thing is done now, it is just about starting to run scripts and develop database stuff. Thank you for watching this one.